Good day, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Barry, and welcome to the Wham People Play channel. Today, we are talking about a simple uh, icebreaker activity that's high energy, great for uh, large groups or small, depending upon your workshop or conference. But for now, on to the intro. Welcome, my friends, from behind the screen to today's activity. It's the one, two, three count activity. Simply put, uh, I'm going to ask everybody in the audience to find a partner. Between those partners, they have to count one, two, three as fast as they can between them to see who can mess up first. It's very simple. If you and I were the partners, I would say one, then you would say two, I would say three. Back to you at one, two, three, one, two, three three, and we go back and forth as fast as we can. Now, the trick is, is go so fast to find out who messes up first. Now that's round one. The idea is that it's just to create laughter, to be silly. Yes, I messed up, to laugh at mistakes. And basically as a facilitator, somebody who's doing training, if I wanna teach about what it's like to build a skill, I wanna teach a new skill, you start with the basics. And this is a great activity to do that with. For example, because even though we're going one, two, three, back and forth, the second round, I'm gonna say, instead of saying one, two, three, we're gonna say one, clap, three. We are replacing a number with a physical activity. Could be a clap, could be a jump, could be mm, sticking out your tongue, whatever the case may be, but we're gonna build it up as we go. So with each new round, we're taking away a number, add a physical activity, and then we'll see if, how well we do. Now, in that case, we're gonna to get to the, at some point, we're basically gonna do like a jump, clap, and hmm. <laughs> so work together, build the skill, build the activity. Now, what you also can do is that with each new round, each new addition, you have people switch partners, get to know each other a little bit. Also learn behaviors, you know, when, what is it like for them to mess up? So ask some good questions. What did you notice when you're out there? Instead of an action, you know, where we're going one, two, three, we're adding a secondary movement, getting our brains to work with something else. A friend of mine introduced me to switch tasking, I believe it's called. So if you Google it, I think it's called switch tasking. It's not multi, you know, you know my wife gets on to me saying I can't multitask. Well, scientists will actually say you don't multitask. Your brain switches back and forth between tasks. So it's like a computer. I'm doing this and then doing this and it's going back really fast. Same thing. When you add an object, you're building a skill. What is it like to add something new? For example, if I have a cup, I'm going to say one, turn the cup over. You say two, turn the cup back over. Three, boom, you know, one, back and forth, back and forth. That's just one cup. It's round two. Between the two of us, we're adding three cups. Now each cup is labeled one, two, three. And then as we're going back and forth, I'm gonna say one. You're gonna say two and grab the center cup that says two and turn it over. I'm gonna say three and turn that third cup over. So that is another variation you can do. When you start including props, be sure to understand that the bigger the crowd that you have, the more time that you need to include, and also be thinking about the, the cost effectiveness of getting props available. So if you have 100 people, you times 50 times three, if you're gonna do the three cup activities, and that's how many cups you need per, you know, per group, uh, per partnership. Now, uh, in the comments below, later I will be linking something, uh, linking the PDF for this activities for us, the full write-up and the brief questions plus a third variation using dice. So don't uh, be sure to don't miss that. Thanks for visiting the Win People Play channel. We really do hope that you enjoy this activity. If you want to see the full write-up, including the third variation, including dice, be sure to check out the link down below in the comments. Also, if you want to receive the weekly post of all of our games, activities, and facilitator tips, 
be sure to click here and, and to subscribe. Also, a big shout out to Group Dynamics for allowing us to record some of the video. And if you want to know more about Group Dynamics and their activities and programs, be sure to check out their channel here. And then until next time, ladies and gentlemen, we hope to see you later.